Welcome back to the second part of this tutorial. Till now what we achieve is this planet, this back sky and some meteorites. Ok now the next step is to achieve this environment. So to achieve this environment what I have to do? I create one fast noise and here I first go to color I set my second color to dark blue and I apply one elliptic mask decrease size and apply some soft edge feather on this mask I go to fast noise in noise setting I increase my scale add some detail ok so here I got this fractal now to spread this fractal in this space what I have to do I create one more particle system so for that I go to particle P emitter obviously when you create P emitter you have to create one P render I want to spread this fast noise in this whole space what I have to do I create one shape 3d sphere I increase size for example 25 because here we use radius 25 so obviously 25 or more than that I have to create for this environment for example 30 now I go to 3d control and scale it down in Y now I go to pay meter here I set my region to mesh I apply this ellipse or spear as my shape so now see your particle spread In this pair so what I have to do I increase numbers of my particle for example here thousand obviously what we do with rocks I have to increase lifespan and same thing animate this thing go to next frame and set it to 0 for our example right now I decrease little bit 400 and in a meter I go to style besides of point I set it to bitmap and I apply this image as bitmap and you get some small particles over here so what I have to do I increase size of this for example 6 and you get this environment I'm not much change in this environment now I create one mush 3d apply this particle system in this merge I take same camera in mush 3d and I create one more render 3d now you see I got this kind of environment 
so first of all I what I do I go to fast noise and go to color and I also decrease alpha of this also add some variation Okay, now to merge this environment with my this planet system what I have to do this is the major step I create one more merge 3d and I call this space rock and this planet in one scene and I apply 3d replace material and in replace material I go to material I change my diffuse color to black and specular to 0 and I add this scene actually what I get total black into this Merge 3D. So now you see what I gain like this. Now here I have planets, here I have environment. So just compose this two render 3D node with Merge 3D Merge and I apply blending mode screen. Decrease this thing. Even you can change some color correction. For example, I apply one color correction over here. I change my color like this. Even I create one more CC. I apply one mask. Inwards, some soft edge. I apply this onto this color correction change some hue value like this or maybe some orange fill now you can increase the emitter particles in my case it's almost about 3000 numbers of particle I use but right now for example I increase to 1000 apply some color correction as well as work with opacity and I want to create some flare so for that for example like this flare what I have to do so I create one BG I apply color to orange blend this thing now in this background I apply one mask tool I set mask mask over here and apply a feather like this Also create some more effect like blur. I apply same this ellipse tool on this blur and I apply some blur. I apply one more color correction. I apply same this ellipse on this color correction and change some gamma value. And all these things so here we got this kind of planet you can 
change your color settings and all these things but the main thing is I want to show the powerful features of fusion hope you like this tutorial see you soon